Hi, I'm David, and this is the Biology Classroom. This is a video about a sampling method known as Mark Release Recapture. I will show you the details of this technique and also how to use the Peterson or Lincoln Index to calculate an estimate of a population size. Mark Release Recapture is a technique used to estimate the size of a population of a particular species. It involves capturing organisms from the population, counting them, and then marking them in a harmless way. Then, the marked organisms are released back into the population. At a later stage, organisms in the population are trapped again and the marked and unmarked organisms are counted. It is suitable for those mobile organisms such as mammals and insects. It cannot be used to sample extremely slow-moving and immobile organisms such as corals and plants. It is also not suitable for the highly territorial organisms as the marked individuals will not be able to mix well with the unmarked portion of the population after they are released, the examples including wolf packs and some bird species. The accuracy of this method depends on a number of assumptions being met. The first one is, the population is closed during the study. There is no increase or reduction of population size between the first and second capture, this including birth and death, and also the migration of individuals in or out of the population. The second assumption is, marking of the individuals has no effect on their survival. The mark does not make them more visible to the predator. It does not affect their mobility. The mark does not make them less effective in food hunting as well. Number 3. The chance for each individual in the population to be caught are equal and constant for both first and second capture. It means that the mark does not make them get trapped more easily or more difficult during the recapture. Some organisms may become trap shy. They learn to avoid the trap after the first capture. While some of them may be trap happy, they learn about the bait in the trap so they get into the trap more easily during the second capture. The fourth assumption is, all members of the population mix randomly after the first capture. So, the time gap between the first and second capture is very important. It has to be long enough for the marked individuals to mix back with their original population, but not too long as birth, death, or migration might happen. That's why this technique is not suitable for highly territorial animals or those living in a herd. Lastly, the animals do not lose their mark. This is an important factor to consider for animals that shade or molt as they grow or as they respond to seasonal factors. Now, let's go through the steps of this sampling method. First of all, we need to identify a suitable method to capture a number of individuals in a natural population. Some commonly used methods including animal trap, net or aspirator for small insects, pitfall trap for insects that are active on the ground surface. Secondly, we need to mark the capture organisms by using a non-toxic method which will not affect their natural behavior. For example, leg bending can be used for birds. Tags can be used on crayfish shell, fish skin, mammal ears, water-resistant paint or dye to mark those animals with shell or fur. The marked individuals are then released back to their natural habitat. The number of marked organisms is recorded. We will recapture the organism after some time. It is important that the time gap is long enough for the mixing of marked and unmarked individuals and not too long so the population size is not changed due to birth, death or migration and the mark is not washed off. So, it is important for us to understand the life cycle and behavior of the organism before the study. Then, carry out the second capturing. Record the total number of organisms recapture and count the number of marked organisms in this cohort. Lastly, use the Peterson or Lincoln Index to calculate the population size. The Peterson or Lincoln Index provides a way to measure the population size of an individual animal species. It is based on the data collected from the mark release recapture method. This is the formula, where the population estimate is equal to the number of marked individuals in the first capture times the total number of individuals recapture divided by the number of marked individuals in the recapture cohort. For example, 
we captured 30 snails in a garden and marked all of them. During the recapturing, 25 out of 60 snails recapture are marked. So the total population estimate will be 30 times 60 divided by 25 equals to 72. The idea of this calculation is pretty simple. We assume that the ratio of marked individuals and the recapture cohort is the same with the ratio of marked individuals during the first capture and the total population size. When you rearrange the equation, you will get the formula for the Lincoln Index. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook. Thank you and see you again soon.